Arkansas, playing at the Watermelon Festival Tournament. Home of the largest watermelons in the world. It's every year in conjunction with the Watermelon Festival in Hope. It's usually the last big tournament of the year for this area, so a lot of the teams are playing their last tournament of the year, and they're just here having a good time, enjoying the Watermelon Festival, and, and uh, the sun. <laughs> I think it's about 103 right now. It's usually in the mid-90s, this is an extremely warm year for some reason. It's just a ball. I mean, I, I really enjoy this tournament. Because it, it draws so much attention and so many teams from all over the country, you know, I mean, it's, it brings the best of the best, you know, to Hope, Arkansas. And, and what better place to have it? I mean, Watermelon Festival, you know, everybody's just having a good time and it, it's, it's just a great day. The population of Hope is about 11,000 people. We have probably at least 40 or 50,000 people here this weekend for the tournament and the festival. I mean, there's people everywhere. There's not even enough motel rooms in Hope to accommodate everybody, but 30 minutes one way or the other, they can stay and, and be here. And we have a lot of camping out here, too. There's campers and everything. We're camping out at our camper back here brought down here for our guys to be able to get cool and stay cool during the day. I was fortunate enough to get a camper and I brought it down this year and it's amazing. Of course this is a birthplace of Bill Clinton here in Arkansas. Yeah this, this is the birthplace and we're all very proud of it. Uh, we have his house where he was born up on the main street. Bill Clinton he's the best and hopefully Hillary will be the next president. We walked around the festival a little bit today. Uh, a lot of antiques and uh, crafts and a lot of good food over there. The only thing that I've had here so far is the hamburgers, and they're great. You know, I've, I've not eaten the gator on a stick. I've just, I stick with the hamburgers, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm here enjoying some of the watermelon and listening to the music and just kind of enjoying myself with my family. The salt, when you put it on the watermelon, it makes it taste sweeter. It's good on watermelon. You ought to try it. Oh, there is a watermelon seed spinning contest. Uh, uh, from what I hear, they can, they can put those seeds out there pretty far. Well, for our watermelon seed spitting contest, we do that up on the stage here. And the stage is about 32 feet long. It's not uncommon to see seed spits all the way off the end of the stage, which would be 30 plus feet. We call that a full spit. We have some of us there that uh, can curl our tongue into a little tube, and you'll see that even used sometimes. We'll have some that'll take it and they'll try and put it flat on their tongue, flat between their lips, and sail it like a frisbee. Well, whatever works. There's all kinds of different styles. No one style seems to be the best, but they sure have fun at it. Something unique about the, the softball tournament, the top four teams, they, they get trophies, they get t-shirts, but uh, what they're really here for is to receive a watermelon. That's what they're really proud of, seems to be, for, for some reason, a watermelon for winning a tournament. But I guess that's because it's the Watermelon Festival Tournament. A free watermelon, what's better than that? Nothing. I can't, I'm here for the watermelon. Just won the Hope Watermelon Festival for third year in a row. And we consider it a record, I guess. Escobar won the upper division of the uh, Watermelon Festival this weekend. We fought through the loser's bracket all day through this hot weather, win seven games in a row today, and I applaud everybody on our, my team. They all played outstanding. This is OWC, and we're the 07 Watermelon Champs. It's a great feeling, but I'm really, really tired right now, too. We're ready to go home. Yeah, we're ready <laughs> to hit the road.